Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. As we all know that a NOTAM was issued regarding the launch of an experimental test vehicle between 23rd to 24th September. The length of this NOTAM is stretched from Bay of Bengal to the Indian Ocean covering a distance of 3000 km. Looking at the distance, it was clear that the test was going to be for a ballistic missile but which one, it was not clear. However, now we have confirmation that it's going to be Agni-5 missile signaling its early induction into the armed forces. Elaborate preparation has started at the defense facility of Odisha coast for the mission by Strategic Forces Command of Indian Army. As for the schedule, the 5000 km range missile is likely to be tested on September 23rd. Initial plant to be inducted in 2020 after the hydric pre-induction trials in 2018 the process was reportedly delayed due to COVID-19 pandemic that affected some important tests of the missile with multiple independently targetable re-entry vehicles MIRV. The mission has been planned close on the heels of successful trial of Agni Prime missile, the first new class of Agni Seas missiles developed by DRDO. The three-stage solid-fueled weapon with advanced guidance and new generation propulsion was fired with multiple independently targetable re-entry warheads on June 28th. Defense sources said that the next trial of Agni-5 missile assumes significance as it may be equipped with the MIRB capable of carrying multiple warheads, though the MIRB capability of the missile was secretly tested during a multi-satellite launch. No live launch was conducted so far. For the first time, the indigenous MIRB technology was tested successfully in Angri Prime missile with the weapon delivering two maneuverable warheads at two separate locations. The MIRB capability of Agni-5 will give India the much needed deterrence. With single warhead missiles actually launched against one target, the MIRB missiles can be dispensed warheads against multiple targets. The technology will minimize the requirement of number of missiles providing an edge in battle preparedness. A senior defense official said the induction process of the most potent game changer Agni-5 has begun and a successful user trial would pave the way for its serial production. The canisterized missile is equipped with a ring laser gyroscope based inertial navigation system and micro inertial navigation system. Developed by DRDO, the missile is capable of hitting targets in all Asian countries, China and parts of Africa and Europe. With a wiring of around 7 km, the 17 meter long, 2 meter wide, 3 stage solid fuel missile can carry payload of 1.5 ton and weighs around 50 tons. India is the 8th country to have intercontinental ballistic missiles after the US, UK, Russia, China, France, Israel and North Korea. This was today's update. Please let us know what is your views about these in comment section. Feel free to post your comments and suggestions about any topic related to defense sector on which you want to hear from us. With this, I would like to say goodbye and Jai Hind friends. Please like and subscribe our video if you have not done already. We will be soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in the defense sector.